What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I'm bringing you the latest news that has just dropped via Bungie's weekly TWAB and there's definitely some interesting things to talk about including some buffs and nerfs to our beloved supers, a few matchmaking changes and a few other bits and bobs. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like, like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe now the twab is loaded with new information if you guys want to read through or you'll find it linked within the video description but let's get straight into it people so what specific supers are receiving a buff while well, damage increases will be applied to golden gun that's the three shot and the six shooter Shadow Shot, Morbius Quiver, Arc Staff, Burning Maw, Hammer of Soul, Cold of the Sea Breaker, Fist of Havoc, Sentinel Shield, Nova Bomb, Cataclysm and Vortex, as well as Daybreak. Small damage decreases will be applied to Blade Barrage and Nova Warp. Now you guys know I am a hunter through and through, but the Blade Barrage was a little bit OP, especially paired with them Shards of Galanor, Nova Warp, don't let me even talk to you about no warp that shit was just ridiculous so let's take a little bit of a more in-depth look at what's actually happening to these supers nerfs and buffs hunter gunslinger changes golden gun six shooter kills return a bullet practice makes perfect super regen increased blade barrage the damage is now heavily weighted under delayed explosion instead of the knife impact now deal self damage if the knives explode too close fix the bug where the knives would track allies extra notes by bungie the golden gun change brings increased uptime with your super for the way of the outlaw this means a skill based mechanic to extend it for the way of the sharpshooter it's the ability to earn your super more quickly Moving on to the Night Stalker and changes to Morbius Quiver. Entire damage bonus is applied on the first hit instead of stacking and multiplying. Increased tether radius and lifetime made it easier to fire successive tethers. Spectral Blades damage resistance in stealth decreased. Duration of super while invisible slightly decreased. Notes This is step 1 for Shadow Shot and we intend to keep improving the way it works. For this pass we focus on Mobius Quiver's quality of life. Moving on to Arc Strider and the changes. Super damage is now more heavily weighted towards the heavy palm strike attack. No attack damage was reduced, but much of the added damage for the super went into the heavy attack. Lethal current bonus damage increased. Moving on to the Titan and Sunbreaker changes. Sunspots doubled the damage of the burn on enemies. Sun Warrior. Buff length increased from 3 seconds to 5 seconds. Now increases all outgoing damage, burning more, slam radius increased, slam fire tornado improved homing. Sentinel changes, super damage is more heavily weighted under heavy shield charge attack. No attack damage was reduced but much of a added damage for the super went into the heavy attack. Moving on to striker and changes, terminal velocity, there are now 3 tiers of hang time. The amount of hang time for each tier has been reworked. Each tier of hang time now causes 4 damaging shocks instead of 3. The damage for the hang time bonuses has been increased significantly. Trample. The light shoulder attack super cost has been reduced by 85%. Trample can now trigger every 0.5 seconds up to every 1 second. Extra knots. For the cold of the earth shaker, the change to terminal velocity should make it more engaging. The first tier is now easier to achieve. For the second tier, you'll probably want some high ground. But if all you have is flat land, a directional slam near the peak of your lift can proc it. Finally, there's a new third tier that will require some serious height to activate. On top of that, you'll not only need to land your hang time slams, but also do it quickly enough to get in all four possible to maximize damage. With Code of Juggernaut, if you play it right, you can extend your super for minutes in PvE. I know this sounds crazy, but it takes foresight and strategic choices. The light shoulder attack is almost a movement mode with the new cheaper cost. With the extended mobility you should be able to lay some shoulder on the bigger targets and then go on a run for little guys to rebuild your super energy. Ok so we're going to move on to the Warlock. Dawnblade changes, super duration increased, Voidwalker changes, Cataclysm, increased detonation radius, 
cluster damage increased, improved cluster bomb homing to make it more consistent against single targets. Cluster bombs no longer detonate one another. Vortex, linger damage increased significantly in overwalk, slower movement while charging. Charging costs more energy and overall duration is reduced. Damage resistance reduced very slightly. PVE damage reduction. Charge detonation will no longer be able to one shot another player in their super provided it has damage resistance. Notes. Summed up, Nova Bomb now not just for larger groups. The Nova Warp changes above are all small but we think together they will help bring it down into a good place. A place similar to the supers that were raising up. Stormcaller changes Storm Trance, increased number of targets for Chain Lightning by 1. And that is it guys, now these changes will be applied with update 2.1.4 which should be deployed on January 29th which is when we get the last word quest I believe, the draw. But we're going to move on people and on to making matches. Now I've seen quite a lot of uh, people complaining on Twitter about matchmaking in competitive. It seems as though Bungie have listened and now addressing it. They state in the twab, next week we will adjust matchmaking settings in competitive. The change is scheduled to take effect on January 15th at 10am PST. The world system team has been gathering feedback and using it in conjunction with player data to make the next change for how we match opponents in the competitive playlist. We will be changing matchmaking perimeters so that opponents you find in competitive matchmaking will be closer to your glory rank. While the imbalanced match can still happen, we believe this change will reduce the number of occurrences dramatically. Players may experience longer matchmaking times as we try to ensure a good glory rank match before opening up the search criteria. Nice, so yes, hopefully that makes a lot of people happy. Moving on people, an iron banner is back. They state Saladin is making his regular visit to the tower next week for the first time of 2019. He brings with him weapons and armor to be earned by guardians who choose to face off in a great tournament. Here are the rewards you can get your hands on. We can see the SMG and the sniper rifle. Iron Banner and Valor bonus begins January 15th 2019 and ends January 22nd 2019 great stuff people don't forget guys if you already are a 650 you may as well take part in the iron banner complete them iron banner bounties and keep those powerful bounties in your inventory for when joker's wild lands that way it will help you level up before you even get started and get that slight edge over your teammates and opponents but yeah guys that's basically it for the twab now there's a few more bits and bobs in it but to be honest, it's not worth really covering, but if you do want to read through it all, you'll find it linked within the video description. But some crazy changes coming, people, especially to those supers. But to be honest, I think this is like cool. The Nova Warp is just ridiculous, and the Blade Barrage, well, we all know exactly what that's like. It's just a new Panic Super, and this is coming from my Hunter. So, yes, I'm actually quite glad it's been changed. I was more of a Golden Gun man anyway, and I'm so glad Golden Gun seems to be getting a buff. But we will test these things out, people, like I said, when they arrive on January 29th. But guys, anyway, we have come to the end of the video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leaving a like really does help out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.